Hey guys, it's Lauren, and today I'm going to be talking about my experience with sorority recruitment at Union University, and that is in Jackson, Tennessee, and it's a really small Christian school, and recruitment was kind of crazy for me. So to start off with, what ended up happening for me was I actually got cut from all of them. Um, we have Kappa Delta, Chi Omega, and Zeta Tau Alpha here. I actually ended up getting cut from all of them. And then I ended up accepting a snap bid or the open bidding from Kappa Delta, like four days after recruitment ended. So to start off with, the process was we started by, you know, visiting the houses and we got into our recruitment groups with our recruitment counselors. I love my counselor. Um, her name is Sabrina. She ended up being a Chi Omega. Well, she was, but we obviously... But obviously they're disaffiliated from their chapter during recruitment, the recruitment counselors are. So she was great, I liked my recruitment group, um, and we just learned about the different sororities. And then we went around in our groups to the houses, and at Union, people don't live in the houses, that's just where they meet and everything. So we went there, first we went to, I believe, Cayo, and we learned about that and they just spoke about um you know their philanthropy and everything and their favorite memories and we just met the people who are on the board and then we had zeta and we had kd as well and that night was pretty chill we didn't actually talk to any of the girls in the sororities that night and then the next time we went and it was just like the first round i forget exactly what it's called just like the first round of recruitment. And we went, and this is when we actually talked to them. So we went around and it's like speed dating, but with women. So we talked to them and we, you know, just got to know some of the girls. And then after that, the next night, we had philanthropy night, I think. Yeah, and that day was awful because I found out I was cut from Zeta and Kayo. And I'm not going to go into details of why exactly this happened, um, because there's, I don't really know, you know, you can't really tell. But I am friends with some girls in those chapters, and they gave me kind of a vague idea. But overall, what they said was, I have no idea. They didn't know why, nobody knows why, can't know why. It's the process, it's the um, scoring and the numbers and the girls who are legacies and so many different things that can be factored in. So pretty much... I don't know why and I was pretty devastated because um, I went in initially wanting one and it was one of the two I was cut from and just because I knew all the girls in that sorority so that's kind of what I went in hoping for but then after that I cried my eyes out the whole night it was pretty awful but I was still asked back to Kappa Delta so I pulled myself together and I went to the Kappa Delta thing. It was much later that night, so I had some time to pull myself together a little bit. I redid my makeup from the eyebrows down because it was a total mess from crying. And I went back and um, that night was fine. I was just, you know, trying to be my normal self, not being upset or anything. So did that. And I didn't go in originally wanting that. But after thinking about it and praying about it, I was like, I feel like this might be where God wants me to be. I feel like maybe this is the, a good place for me. So I had decided that, you know, if I was offered a bid, I would take it. So then the next morning rolls around and I was sleeping and we get a knock on our door and it's um, this girl, one of the recruitment counselors, and I know her, so she's nice and stuff. And we are like friends. So she came in and she's like, I don't know how to say it. And I'm like, I got cut from them too, didn't I? And she was like, I don't know what happened. You know, I there's no way for me to know. I'm not there. I'm so sorry if you need anything. So all this. And I was just like, what the heck? You know, <laughs> I was like, I have no idea why this happened. It's kind of hard because you're just getting graded on like who you are as a person. And I don't know. There's just so much that goes into it that I was trying not to get too down on myself, you know. In those two days, I still did because I was pretty upset about that. And um, those were like a pretty awful couple days. But I just tried to remind myself, you know, 
it's not that everybody there doesn't like me or anything. It just might have been a couple things or a couple points that knocked me out or different factors like they knew I had wanted this other one or s stuff like that or they had heard something about me. And although it's not true, you know, they might think that. That might skew um, perspectives and stuff. So there's really nothing I could do about it. Nobody knew why it had happened. It was just kind of like, we don't know. Um, so... I went to Memphis and just spent the day with my boyfriend who's pretty amazing and I was very grateful to have that little getaway right then because I would not have <laughs> I would not have been okay watching bid day and hearing bid day and all the girls running and seeing all the decorations and everything happening so I was very grateful to be able to go to Memphis for the day so I went there and um, then the next day was Sunday and I was doing better, so I was here back at school on Sunday, and I just, you know, decided, I made peace with everything, and I decided, alright, I'm just gonna be happy, and if you see my video, the one that says, life can suck, but you don't, that was filmed, like, right after all this happened, um, and I just decided, you know, it's not just that I suck or something, it's not about that, it just, stuff happens, it might not turn out how it should have or could have or you know the way I might have wanted it to but I wasn't gonna let it get me down I wasn't gonna let it ruin my year much less ruin my week so I just really made the choice to just be okay with it I'm like well now I can be friends with all three of them without having anything weird or any weird tension so I was all good with it <laughs> it was kind of funny usually people lie about this sort of stuff like if you get cut, a lot of people lie about it, and they're just like, I just decided not to do it. And I'm like, I'm not going to lie about it. Stuff happens. That's life. I'm okay with who I am, and so I'm not going to let it get me down. Um, and then this guy, so the Monday, after all this happened, that very Monday, I went to a Lambda Chi little Labor Day slip and slide party thing, and I went to that and was 100% myself. And... You know, I was pretty proud of myself for doing that because I think a lot of people in my situation and probably what I would have done a few years back would just be to really isolate myself and be like, well, they don't like me. They rejected me. They don't like me. I can't go to this. And I was just like, haha, no. So I just went and had a good time and was myself and it was all good. And everybody was like, wow, that's like really awesome that you did that. And like that takes a lot of strength. And so I was like, yeah, I'm good we're good. I'm still going to be my normal, happy, friendly self. Um, so this guy, he asked me, he goes, wait, Lauren, didn't you go through recruitment? And I was like, yeah, everyone got me. And he's just like, oh, um, I'm sorry. And he was so awkward. It was pretty hysterical in my opinion. And I was like, well, I'm so savage. <laughs> but yeah, so I just didn't let it get me down. And although I knew it would still hurt sometimes and be disappointing, I just decided to move past it and, you know, go on with my life. I was like, well, I'll have more time to spend on my YouTube channel. Um, so that all happened. And four days after bid day, I was walking out to go get a spray tan. I was going to my car and this girl from Kappa Delta, she's one of the vice presidents, she texted me and she's like, hey, what are you doing right now? Do you have a minute? And I said, well, I'm actually out on my way to my car to go get a spray tan. And I was walking outside and all of a sudden I see her and two other girls in the car, like right outside of my dorm room, like dorm building. So I was like, hi. And at this point I'm like, you may be offering me a bid. Um, so if you don't know, if there's, they haven't hit capacity or hit quota, they can still offer bids after recruitment. So I was outside and I was like, okay. So basically they, these three girls were really nice and they were like, you know, we feel so bad about what happened, but we saw how strong you were through it all and how positive you were and how you just continued to be your normal self. And you, we know we just all admired that so much. And we really just think that you'd be such a great addition to our sisterhood and we'd love to have you here. And I'm like, mm, I'm like, I don't know what to do because that's not what I initially wanted when in wanting. And I just was like, I just made peace with all of this. And 
it was just hard at the time. I didn't, I wasn't ready to accept it yet. So I was like, well, thank you so much. Um, could I have a couple days, a little time to think about it? And they basically gave me a day. And then I was thinking about it and talking to my parents and talking to some people. And I ended up getting another day. And I decided, I'm just going to wait. I'm just going to wait a year or till the spring. I'll see what happens. And it, I was telling her and this other girl, Tatum, that... And in the same same exact conversation, I just flipped the switch and I was like, no, I think I'm going to do it. So I decided to take the van from Kappa Delta and I'm very happy because I seriously love what Kappa Delta stands for and how it's all about building confidence and, you know, inspiring women and being there for each other and just, I think it's a great, great sisterhood and I love the philanthropy which is Girl Scouts of America and prevent child abuse. There's another one. I can't remember what it is though. But I just love how it stands for building confidence and all that because you know that's something I'm trying to do here with my YouTube channel is I'm trying to you know reach out to different people and um, young girls. I know a lot of the people who watch my videos are female because um, my I'm kind of girly so um, not everybody, but I know most are female. And that's something that I'm really passionate about too, because it's something I've struggled with my whole life. If you watch that other video I had, I kind of talk about that and touch on that. So I really love that. And all the girls I've met from in the chapter here are so sweet and just such genuine people. And I really think that's going to be a great place for me. We had a Hamilton little sing-off the other day. It was a great time. So I haven't been able to do much yet because um, I just got in it, but I think it's going to be a great choice for me. My camera stopped. I think it's going to be great for me and I'm really excited to see where that takes me and if I'm able to eventually have any leadership positions within it or just be able to, you know, help other people through that and meet some pretty awesome girls too. So that's kind of how my experience went. It was a lot. It was a huge roller coaster of emotions, you know, getting cut and then getting cut again and then um, get, making peace with it and then being offered one and having to think about it and be confused again and then ending up taking it. Go, Katie. Boop, boop, boop. I don't know if it's going to be facing the right way. But I'm really excited about all of this and I hope that sharing my experience sort of may help you if you're going through recruitment. Just knowing that your life won't be over if you don't get into the sorority you want or one at all. Like, I was going to be fine without one. Um, I'm really happy to be in one, but I was going to be fine without it. Um, so I hope this helped you a little bit or, you know, was just encouraging knowing that although life may not always take you where you expect it to or where you initially wanted it to, you'll hopefully always end up in the right place. And I tr I'm trying to trust that God's taking me where he wants me to be, even if it's not always what my plans were. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope that if you went through recruitment or you're going to go through recruitment someday, or if you never will, I just hope that this video helped you in some way. So I will talk to you all later. Have a great day.